going to take a minute on this, but um, anybody here have mind chatter? Anybody? Did your mind talk all the time? And there's a whole book called um, Untethered Soul by Michael somebody, and he talks about this. And we all talk to ourselves a lot, and we're not very nice. <laughs> and we take both sides. You know, so for an example, um, you're dating a, a cute girl, and she says she's going to come meet you, and she doesn't call. And so your mind goes, oh, she hates me, I'm horrible, and you know, blah, blah, whatever, all these awful things, right? You wouldn't be upset about that. All the, you know, you make up this whole story, talk about storytelling, you make up these stories, right, in your head. It could be about anything, and you can take both sides. You can say, well, you shouldn't have called me in the first place. Well, you, no, you should have, because she's really cuter. You know, it's like this a psychotic mind. It's a psychotic mind. You would not be friends with this person if you, if you put them next to you on the couch. They would not be your friend. So stop the mind chatter and be present. It's like, just stop it. I'm afraid. I don't want to go up to them. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. You know, I don't know anybody. I forgot my elevator pitch. How do you go about doing that? You just turn that off. Like, I don't know. It's a great question. He talks about getting behind it. Like, let it, let it keep going. Let it just be there. And you stand behind it. And just don't pay attention to it. You know what he says, actually? He does say, if that, take that mind chatter and put it on the couch next to you and let it sit there for 10 minutes, and you would not want to be near it. So let it keep talking. You know, just ignore it. Easier said than done. <laughs> but part of it is the other focused and not self-focused. So when you go in to meet somebody and you're thinking about yourself and your own mind chatter and your own fear and your own whatever it is that's coming up, I forgot this or I didn't do that or I don't have my cards with me or something, forget about it. How, what can you do to make them feel comfortable? So the other focused is a good way to get out of it. Um, I have some questions, and I don't ask these questions, but in my mind I'm thinking,